welcome back to the new lecture on the introduction to fluid power and hydraulic system elements in this particular lecture we are going to discuss about accumulator accumulator is one of the very important component as far as fluid power is concerned now let's consider let's understand what is the accumulator the purpose of an accumulator is to store hydraulic energy in the form of pressurized fluid provided by the pump and later provided to the system whenever is needed the accumulator is very similar to the ic engine flywheel so what flywheel does whenever excess energy is available that will be get stored and whenever it is required that will be get released or it is again similar like electric battery we know that electric battery whenever excess electricity is available that will be get stored and whenever it is required it will be get returned it's very similar way accumulator it stores the energy in the form of pressurized fluid and whenever it is required that will be supplied so accumulator is device which is like energy conservation device which stores the energy and releases the energy whenever it is required accumulator are found in numerous application they are used in a conjugation with hydraulic system or a large hydraulic presses construction equipments farm machinery power brakes automotive suspension then hatch covers on ships landing gears mechanism on the aeroplane etc now these are various applications it has a wide variety of application because uh, every time we require to store an energy because sometime it is generated excess sometime generated less so whenever it is generated excess we have to store it whenever it is not uh, it is generated in less we have to return it so for that purpose you will find that there is a wide variety of application of the accumulator let's consider what are the types of accumulator accumulator basically they are divided into three part as wet loaded spring loaded and gas loaded so dead weight is used at that time that particular is called as wet loaded when we are using a springs then it's called as spring loaded and when we are using a gas then it's called as gas loaded in a gas loaded there are some other types also available without separator and with separator you know without separator what we are going to do is the gas which is used that can mix with the oil which oil of working substance whereas here with separator in which the gas used may not be mixed with the pressurized oil which you are working as a working substance in the without separator non separator gas loaded accumulator is available with separator we are having further three types bladder type and diaphragm type and piston type we are going to see working of each in later lectures first type of accumulator we are seeing wet loaded here so first type of accumulator is a wet loaded accumulator where we are going to use a wet you can see that this is a simple wet loaded accumulator in which we can see that there is a piston cylinder arrangement and that piston cylinder arrangement does the function of storing the energy in this case let's understand the construction first of all the hatching line shows the casing of this particular accumulator this is a piston cylinder arrangement and this is a dead weight load whenever excess pressure of fluid is available that excess pressure of fluid will be supplied here and that will be get accumulated whenever we required output so that can come down so the energy which is stored in the form of pressure it depends upon weight so if you are putting more weight then more pressure will be developed if you are putting less weight then less pressure will be developed so whenever it is a excess fluid is available excess pressure is available that excess pressure will be supplied here and that will get accumulated lifting the piston and the weight against the gravity and as the piston moves upward side direction pressure on the oil will go on increases when we want a pressure energy the wall can be open and once wall is open the high pressure fluid can be used for a particular application here we can understand how much pressure is developed here we know that pressure is nothing but force upon area force upon area so what is force available here this is a w force and small another weight w can be considered that is weight of the piston and this particular rod so the two weights are acting capital w and small w so this is capital w and small w here they are written a capital w is a dead weight small w is a piston and piston rod weight so this force will taken in newton if it is in kg we have to convert in newton divided by the area which is exposed to the pressure so area is a pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of the piston so this is the diameter of the piston next thing is a volume which is occupied here that volume occupied can be done by simple mathematical relation that is 
pi by 4 d square into l pi by 4 d square is the circular area and the length through which this particular piston will be get lifted that is written as capital L or capital L is also called as the stroke length of a piston. So total volume of fluid which is occupied here is pi by 4 d square into L. Now what are the advantage of this particular type of accumulator? The advantage is pressure remains constant for a full stroke. So here the pressure which is developed even though stroke length increases or decreases the totally pressure will remain constant. It can supply a large volume of fluid under high pressure. So if you go on increase the size of this the large volume can be handled by this one. The limitation of such kind of accumulator is they are bigger in size and much bulky as compared to some as compared to other of same capacity they consume more space and need a heavy structure to support them so here you will find that the size of such kind of accumulator is very bigger one these are bulky when you compare same capacity of other kind of the accumulator this is limitation of weight loaded accumulators what are the application of this the application is due to their size and bulk their application are limited to stationary equipment such as the heavy duty presses where a large volume are required so as we have discussed that such kind of such kind of accumulator are very heavy and bulky the weight will be more and carrying such kind of weight is not feasible so the more application you will find in the stationary application mobile application we are not going to use such kind of accumulators next type of accumulator is a spring loaded accumulator by the name we can understand that here we are going to use a spring for generating a pressure. So this is not a figure, simple figure of spring loaded accumulator. The construction etc is same, instead of weight we are going to use a spring. So this is the casing of this particular accumulator, this is the piston. Above the piston we are using a spring, here they are, we have shown a two spring, there may be three, four also depending on how much pressure you have to build. So this is first spring, this is second spring. Here on the downside direction we can supply the pressure. So here is the port for supplying the pressure and for removing the pressure. Here we can provide one kind of wall which will restrict the fluid going inside and fluid coming outside. Here what happens when we are having an excess amount of energy and we have to store it, the fluid will be going inside against the spring force. As the fluid enters it will give force on the piston and piston starts moving in upward side direction. When piston is moving in upward side direction, the spring force gives opposite force on downside. In the previous case, the opposite force, the downward force was given by the dead weight, whereas in this case, we are using a spring. So spring is giving force on downside direction, the fluid is giving force on upward side direction. So because of that, the pressure will be get built into the fluid and it will be get stored here. When we require such kind of fluid, we can open this wall which is present here. Once we open the wall, the pressurized fluid will be going out and it will be uh, given to the particular application. So as we are using a spring here, that is called a spring loaded accumulator. The advantage of this accumulator is compact in size. If you compare the size of spring loaded accumulator and dead weight accumulator, here the size is compact one. All parts are enclosed in a casing and no moving part protrudes out. In the previous application you might be seen that the weight is on outside and which is moving up and down. So chances of accidents are more in that particular case whereas here the chances of accident is very less because all moving part are closed in one case. So these are advantages. Let us say disadvantages, non-uniform pressure. So we know that when pressure spring gets compressed, the force applied by the spring also gets varies. So, the pressure which is available on this particular fluid is not uniform and smaller volume so here the volume which can be handled by such kind of accumulator is very small now what are the application of such kind of accumulator the application is used where the space limitation is prime consideration and considerable smaller volume are required example atom oil and mobile hydraulic application so as the size and bulk of such kind of Accumulator is small, it can be widely used for the mobile application, but the amount of fluid which is handled is very less. So, it can be used for a small mobile application. This is all about a spring loaded accumulator. Thank you very much, Paulus.